Beat my record. Forget something? Hmm? <laughs> Thanks. Aren't you in the undergraduate journalism program? I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, yeah. I haven't been coming to lectures much. Mm. Not really feeling it. Oh, right. Look, that thing you were doing in the water. Can I ask what it's about, holding your breath like that? Some people meditate. I sink to the bottom of a pool. One of these days, I'm gonna get to two minutes. Wow, that sounds intense. Why do you do it? Down there, the only person looking out for me is me. So I've got to step up and take control of myself. Sounds kind of... lonely? Maybe I like it that way. I should be getting home. Look, it's just... So, I had a friend in middle school. She was, like, infuriatingly perfect. Top of the class, captain of the soccer team. And one day, we're all on this field trip, and boom, she disappears, gone. We eventually find her in the back. <laughs> I just know she'd have felt better if she knew there was someone ready to listen. Right. Maybe. Just ask for me. My name's May, with a Y. Got it. Talk to Mima. What? When you were changing the license plate, I called to check on her. Did you tell her any? No, no, I just wanted to hear her voice. Are you sure you're up for this? Huh? Hiking over the border? <laughs> I hate hiking. But hey. Guess it's time to be flexible. I'm gonna be a wanted criminal now. You're not a criminal. You're just helping a friend. Did you watch the OJ trial? The what? <laughs> OJ Simpson? All-American football player accused of murdering his wife because she's screwing some waiter? I don't really watch TV. Huh. Well, the point is, nobody's what they seem, you know? Like, <gasps> what are we capable of? Are we all just killers waiting for our switches to get flipped? What about kindness? We're capable of that, right? See? The world needs more people like you.
More on the manhunt for the Desert Dream Killers, who first robbed the Two Rock County Sheriff's House, then took shelter at a motel that turned into the scene of a... Wait, was that you? Yeah, but I don't want to hear. I do. Describe Jay Holt as an awkward, quiet high school dropout. Ugh, they say it like dropping out's a crime. Halt also has an accomplice, 16-year-old Vanessa Dorland, mm. who is assumed to be armed and dangerous. If you see either of these violent criminals, uh. please call 911 and make... got pulled into all this. I wasn't pulled. I chose. I just... I need a minute, okay? Sure. Okay. Okay, don't stress. We'll figure this out. Morning, you two. Everything okay, officer? Just running a sobriety checkpoint here, looking for any intoxicated drivers coming back from that River Palooza music festival. Were you there? No, sir. We're just passing through. Can I ask where you're coming from? We were in Salt Lake City. We're on a field trip for our... with our church. Which church is that? Uh, LDS? You know, the Book of Mormon? Uh-huh. Anyway, if I could just see your license and registration, you'll be on your way. They're still getting sent. I just went to the DMV. Didn't they give you provisionals? Oh, it's the DMV. What don't they screw up? <laughs> hey, my mom works at the DMV. <laughs> and you are so right. <laughs> I could just run the plates. Dispatch, need you to run some plates for me. Montana, three, Papa, two, one, five, seven, Tango. Shit, he's gonna find out any second. What, again? Well, can't you run it manually? We need to get out of here. I can explain. <sighs> Goddamn database is down again. There's a sneak peek of Y2K for you. All right. I'm gonna let you off with a warning. Next time, bring your license along for the ride. I will, officer. Go on. Get out of here. Hey, Dad. How's the, um, new plane? Oh, you are gonna love it. 
So much quieter than the old one. So, um, you okay? It was my birthday on Sunday, and you usually call. Oh, Dad. I'm sorry. It's just... The thing is, I... Don't tell me. Lectures coming out of your ears. I get it. So how about your mom and I drop by campus tomorrow for lunch? That might be... tricky. Why? Everything's cool at school, right? To be honest, Dad, I'm not sure the program's right for me. What are you saying? You're dropping out? You've been wanting to study journalism since the ninth grade. No, just weighing my options, that's all. Dropping out? Is that Zoe? Relax, honey, she isn't dropping out. You bet your pants she isn't. Not without talking to us first. Zoe? Sorry, Mom. I gotta go. Don't speak. Don't make a sound. Not seeing it. What is that? Stop looking at me. Tell me I'm awake this time. Come on. Think. Where did you put them? Joke, it's not funny. Hello? Hey, Grandpa. Zoe! I know it's late, but I, I could use a friendly ear right now. Do you mind if I come over? Uh, I, I've run into a little uh, 
situation here. What kind of situation? Mr. Walker! I'll be there in ten. <sighs> it's like I told you, I can't have tenants damaging the building. And I told you, I didn't damage a damn thing. Uh -huh. Mr. Walker, I really don't want to get into another argument. Uh -oh. Hey there, Zussi, old boy. Zoe, thank God you're here. Now please tell this woman I have a right to the quiet enjoyment of my own home. Huh. Quiet enjoyment? You vandalized your front door. Okay, slow down. What happened? Somebody broke in and stole my wallet. Uh, no. Hmm. You misplaced your wallet, and you broke your own front door. Zoe, someone was here. I saw him lurking in the shadows. Are you okay? Were you hurt? No, uh, I, I wasn't here. I, I was, um, I think, downstairs. I'll tell you exactly what happened. Your grandfather wandered outside in his robe for the third time this month. When he realized he didn't have his keys, he broke the door to get back in. That is not true. I wanted some air, so I, I took a walk and, uh, and I, I saw someone. And, uh, I, and then the next thing I know, I'm arguing with, with Shelby here. That's not even my name. Yeah. Zoe, I know this is painful to hear, but your grandfather is declining. He needs a nurse or an assisted living oh, home God or... Oh, damn it! I don't need assisted anything. We obviously have very different interpretations of what happened. Still, somebody will have to pay for that door. Send us the bill. Huh? I'll make sure it gets paid for. God. Thank you. I appreciate that. Please get him help. Mm -hmm. A conspiracy to extort money from a vulnerable old man. That's what this is. Can you believe that woman? Assisted living. <laughs> she sounds just like your parents with that crap. Don't tell Shelby. But I know I didn't break my door because I keep a spare key under the mat. You do? Isn't that kind of... Unsafe? You want to hide something where no one will find it? Stick it right under their noses. How are you doing, kiddo? Anything new? <gasps> Me? I'm fine. Oh, you don't look fine. You look like you did back in high school when you thought you could cram for finals by staying up all night on triple lattes. How you been sleeping? Didn't have a bad night for months. Until the nightmares started creeping back. Now, I'm scared to fall asleep. Oh, Zoe. You seem to be doing so well. Did something happen? It doesn't matter. Oh. Seriously. So, what else? Still got your sights on the New York Times? Actually, I'm thinking of leaving school for a while. I told Mom and Dad. You can imagine how that went down. Ooh, like the Titanic, I expect. I always thought it suited you, the investigative journalism thing. Digging around in other people's business, telling the world how it really is. I don't know, Grandpa. I just want to wake up on a beach somewhere. No one around. Walk out into the ocean. And disappear under the waves. No, you don't. Take it from someone who's been a pro at running away. Wherever you run, your problems run after you. <sighs> Hang on. 
Where's my tablet computery thing? Oh, no. Those bastards. I got that from my 74th. Mind if I look around a little? Maybe I can figure out who stole your stuff. Be my guest. You know you've had the exact same couch my entire life? Bought that thing back in 98, the week after... You know, when we came to St. Louis. And it just keeps getting comfier. Grandpa. Oh, there it is. Huh. Glad they didn't take that too. Oh. Not that it matters. All I know how to do with it is play solitaire. So, you're still going to the pool? I spend so much time there, I'm growing fins. <laughs> hey, go cool car. Was this yours? Once upon a time, drove that puppy all around the country. Why'd you get rid of it? Oh, you know, couldn't afford the upkeep. Grandpa, are you taking your meds? I don't like them. They make me fussy. Sure, but they wouldn't prescribe them if you didn't need them. You're gonna stand there until I take them, aren't you? Please. For me. Oh, all right. <laughs> Grandpa, are you sure you didn't break the door yourself? It's just me here now. Have you never gone into a room, forgotten why you came in? Haven't you ever misplaced or lost something? You know I've lost plenty. I don't want to lose you too. Shelby's right. It's getting worse. Places, dates, the school I went to. It's like someone's slowly packing my memories into boxes and none of them have labels on. Can you imagine how that feels? to think about the past some things are a blessing you must think I made this whole damn mess up actually someone's been following me too I think what earlier at the pool and then tonight at my apartment I, I thought I saw someone but I don't know if it's even real I feel like we're both losing our minds. Good God. Zoe, look. I know you went through hell as a kid, seeing all the terrible, terrible things you saw. And I know you sometimes think it drove you half crazy. Seriously. You don't need to remind me. I know I don't. But that's what I'm trying to say. Hmm? I don't think you are crazy at all. Because if you were, how could we both be seeing the same thing? Grandpa? Either we're both losing our marbles, or... Or what? No. It's impossible. Oh, wait, man. 
forget I don't want to forget I just want to not care how do I do that how do I make the past leave me alone when I keep seeing it everywhere I go I guess you just need to stand up and face it <sighs> look it in the eye and See this thing for what it is. If the past talks to you, you listen. And when it's done, then maybe you'll be free. 